Now, let me give you a warm welcome. Please, I mean, please, folks, give a warm round of applause for our next upcoming guest, tonight's guest, the guest, the wonderful, the cozy, the very fun, the sweet, the family-friendly, which will make this Jeep say so for the sake of this family-friendly guest, the awesome, the kitty-like, I think she is just a cat, I don't know what to ask, give it up <laughs> for Gaming with me! Introduction. You're very welcome. <laughs> there she is, folks. Gaming with Mim. That's tonight's guest. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hey, so how you doing, Mim? How are things? I'm doing great. Everything's good. Thanks so much for having me here tonight. I'm so excited. No, oh, I'm glad to hear things are well. No, thanks for coming out to the show. Like I said, it's actually difficult for me to book family-friendly VTubers for this show for obvious reasons. <laughs> I know, it took you almost a year to get me to come on here. <laughs> yeah, it's true, folks. It's true. I, I, I did reach out a long time ago, and uh, she said no, but it was very kind. Just wasn't her thing, and I was like, yeah, sure, okay. You know, I, I don't take it personally. I just I, I find her to be a delightful streamer, so it didn't, didn't bother me one way or the other. And yet, look, here she is! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> She did, she did, folks. So, let's get on with this nice, lovely interview corner. Let's ask some very simple, fun things. Like, <clears throat> Mim, what's your favorite and least favorite food? That's an easy one. That is, a, it would be an easy one. I, I have thought about this, though, because I'm, I'm not good at answering, like, very basic questions. But oh. my very favorite food is Inari. I don't know if you guys know <gasps> what Inari Wait. is. I know that one. Inari Sushi. Yes, about... Inari Sushi. Yes, you're it's, talking about like, the like, football things, right? They Yeah, it's like a sweet kind of, it's it's actually, they call it tofu skin. <laughs> so basically it's like fried tofu, like a thin layer, but it's like sweet mm -hmm. um, over rice. It's so yummy. I really like that a lot. And then um, anybody that, that knows my channel knows I love mochi, especially the berry flavored mochis. Those are so yummy. Oh. Nice. Um, and then, of course, my all-time favorite is chocolate. I can't pick, like, one favorite food. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep running them off. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, those are, like, my top three. I, I'll give you my top three. And then my least favorite, for sure, are peas and onions. Oh. So, like, is it a specific type of onions? Because I like onions on my burgers and whatnot, or it's, like, diced onions, or just onions in general. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just onions in general. And I can detect onions in anything. I'm like an onion detector. I can see them. I can find them. I can I can smell them. I can taste them. Like, all my senses go crazy if there's an onion nearby. Oh. <laughs> you hear that, folks? Onion detector right here. <laughs> also, yeah. Six, welcome. Good to have you here, Six. It's been a while. <laughs> Yes, indeed, Eliza. Unagi is eel. Inari is the sushi that she was talking about. The tofu skin over sweet rice. And it's, it in general, is just sweet. It's a different kind of sushi. Very good, actually. My brother loves it. The bee loves that. Yeah, it's so yummy. I love it. Well, and, and because I am a, a, um, a kitsune, um, you know, inari is our thing. That's what we, ah. that's what we, we, like, we, take, we do inari offerings. So we accept offerings of inari at any time. So I'm, I welcome anyone to offer me some inari or mochi. I'll, I'll be glad, I'll gladly accept your, your offerings. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. So there you have it, folks. So take inari or more familiar, inari sushi. Also, oh crap. I mean, <laughs> I, forgot, I, I forgot. Yes. Mochi. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mochi, I forgot the other one. Just, just slipped out of my head. But I definitely know peas and onions are a no-no for this kitsune. That's what you are, kitsune. Kitsune. <laughs> nice. So we'll just play off of that. What inspired that design? What what inspired you to do to go with a kitsune design for your model? If okay. That's okay. Well, yeah. Well. Um. So well, my my um my original design, my original design that I came up with is based off of um. Um, mm -hmm. the, um, the female character of Fossil Fighter, sorry, I just got a message, sorry. Oh, that's right. Um, do, 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 do. um but yeah, so, um, sorry, I just got distracted. <laughs> that's <laughs> that happens. That happens with me. Um, but yeah, so my original character, my 
it's it's like my profile picture on YouTube is based off of the female character in Fossil Fighters, which is like one of the first games I played. Um, and sadly, I haven't finished it. <laughs> but many games that I've played, I haven't finished. But lately, I've been finishing lots of games, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and then I kind of built off of that. So, and then, um, yeah, and then um, there's a whole bunch of lore that I'm going to get into on my uh, birthday stream that will explain the whole Kitsune background. Oh, nice. So, yeah, so, so more to come on that one. <laughs> All right, we'll save it for that stream, folks. That's the more important one because this is just a, <laughs> she's, she's just a guest on this lowly little Jeep Guy show. But what's more important is on the Mim birthday show, which we will promote towards the end of the show so that way you all can look forward to it. Um, yeah. Oh, here's one. So the name, Gaming with Mim. How did that come mm. about? Most people just choose a generic name, um, you know, just their name or first and last name. Rarely do they put, you know, what they're about in their name. But you're always gaming with Mim. So where did that come from? It's true. Well, um, well, Mim itself is a nickname that some of my friends call me. So it's kind of oh. just my name. So that's so that's my name. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah and I, and I decided to start a gaming channel like um it's kind of funny there's a whole background to that one of my friends thought it would be a good idea for me to start gaming and thought that I had really funny um commentary on games and, and I wasn't really much of a gamer before so um it was all very kind of new and so we so we made the channel gaming with men because that's what we would be doing and um, yeah, that's how it came to that. It came to be. <laughs> very simple, very humble origins, but nevertheless, it sticks <laughs> yeah. with you. Right. <laughs> it works. It does. It really does work, folks. And look, there she is up there. If you haven't subbed or subscribed or followed her on Twitter and whatnot, do it now while you have the time. This is a relaxing interview corner, so you can have it on in the background. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay. So there you go, folks. Very simple beginnings right there. Her design was based on off of a character from Fossil Fighters, which is very cool. So... Uh, okay, here's one. This is a popular one with my uh, my guests. Since you started VTubing, what did you find to be the hardest and easiest thing to do? Oh, okay. Uh, since I started VTubing, what's the hardest and easiest? Yeah. Um, what's uh, hardest? Uh, let me say, I'll start with easiest, maybe. Yeah. Which is maybe surprising. Um, I think the the easiest thing that I have to do, I well, I'll, I'll start with the hardest. The hardest thing mm -hmm. was learning all the stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And like, you know, finding the right setup, I still need to work on a better camera, um, doing kinds sure. of things like that. Um, but, um, but, you know, I guess like learning all of the uh, tech for it was probably the hardest, but you know, you, you get through it and you, and then you go forward with it. The easiest thing about it was, I don't know, I guess just doing it. It was, I really like, I really love having that character, like being able to be seen on screen and you can see me move and you can see me talk and everything. So I think, um, being able to interact with the, um, the chat with the chat is so much easier. I think in, um, VTuber mode. Ah, as opposed to streamer mode, right? And where you're actually just like you have your generic room background. It's just your actual person, your actual face up there. VTubing is a lot easier for well, you. Well, well, right. Well, before I didn't really stream before um, VTubing. I was um, primarily doing my channel was primarily just doing uploading videos. So, um, so that's like another thing that makes things a lot easier is less um, editing of videos. Like I can just stream <laughs> it and it just posts. And so it's a lot more um, um, time that I don't have to spend on editing and yes. um, and things like that. There's still like the, the thumbnails and things like that. But I do still do, um, I do still post videos throughout the week as well. So I do a little mm -hmm. combination of the two. Yes, I did notice that. That sometimes there are videos and they're like live premieres and you talk with the chat, but you're not actually streaming. Yes, that's right. Yep. So folks... She puts up videos and she talks about videos, uh, some of her gameplay. You can enjoy that. And uh, that, that has been a common one, actually. You know what's funny enough? A lot of the VTubers often said one of the easiest things that they came across was uh, reaching out to people or doing collabs. They were kind of nervous that it was going to be hard, but it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, not, it's not too bad. It's fun. I like doing collabs a lot. 
Same. Collabs are, are a blast. Why do you think I have a guest once a week? Because it's fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, and yes, I can totally wait to the tech side. I mean, you're just overwhelmed once you're just starting with what program to use uh, back in the day, whether it's not, not back in the day, day, but whether it's Dreamlabs or OBS Studio, and you're just like, which one? Uh, six, thanks for the follow. <laughs> But I know what you mean. I, I I can relate because I didn't know any of this tech stuff, and I had to watch you know, all the the tutorials and all that hoopla. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Trippy Jing! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the show. Hey, and, Trippy! Welcome. <laughs> ah, we got another Mim regular here. Yes, we are doing the interview corner where Mim is answering questions that I have set up for the VTubers. So let's see. Let's move on to another one. Ah, here's one. What's a game? that you most want to play, but have never played it yet. It can be years ago or as recent as yesterday. What video game do you want to play the most that you have not played at all? Okay, well, so this one, so I'm really excited to play this new game. It's actually not coming, it's coming out in um, the beginning of March, March 4th. Okay. Actually, it's called The Cruel King and the Great Hero. Oh, um, I never heard of that I one. Saw, Talk about it. Yeah, I saw the trailer for it, and the art style is really cool, and I'm really excited to try it out. So that's going to become one of my live stream games coming up in March. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that one. I've been pretty excited about that. Okay, what's the Cruel King and the what? Great Hero. The Cruel King and the Great Hero. Yeah, yeah, great job, Jeep. What stands out in your head is Cruel King. Yeah, okay, there you go. So this is... <laughs> There's the game, folks, to look forward to in March the 4th, according to Mim. And uh, that's one she's really looking forward to. That sounds cool. I'm going to take a look at that and see what kind of art style you're talking about. It sounds like a pretty game, if we can capture it. Cool. Yeah, it should be fun. Awesome. Um, oh, here we go. By the way, Mim is just mowing down these questions. Her questions are so concise and to the point they're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that's Should wonderful. I more? <laughs> no, only as much as you want. I find it. I, I I just find it so interesting the different. You know how guests answer differently, and I love it because I usually like to run through all the questions. Sometimes I have to cut some out because we're going a little long and we need to go to the next segment. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's spectacular. You're doing great. Um, okay, what's been one of your favorite streams thus far, and why? You can elaborate on this um, one. Okay. All right. Well, for sure. My all-time favorite streams are my multiplayer streams. Like, I just have so much fun playing with everybody in the chat. Like, mm -hmm. I really legitimately love that. It's just so much fun. I love, like, interacting. I love the fact that... Because that's part of the name, Gaming With Mim. Like, yes. I like the fact that we can play together, and I like doing those multiplayer games together. So that's, like, one of my all-time favorites um, are the the multiplayer games and so um but another one of my all-time favorite um streams that we've played is the one when you were with me when we did the among us collab <gasps> yeah that was so much fun <laughs> It was hilarious, too. It was a lot of fun. The time when I thought you were innocent and you were actually evil. I can't believe I pulled that off, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Six, you know, you were there. Six was there with us, yeah. folks. Yeah. Yeah, that was so much fun because we got to play together in our collab with you and Ellie and um, Gumi. Gumi. And Red was there, too. Yes. And then, um, and then some of the other... Um, uh, the other folks in chat like six and others it was mm -hmm. it was just so much fun like i had such a blast playing that so so yeah again that's another one of our multiplayer games but yeah yes. it's, those are those are my all-time favorites for sure there you have it folks she really means a gaming with men those stand out yeah. to her and they're really fun community games like that and yeah so we can go right back into that which is absolutely true that's the hilarious story folks so i did reach out to mim a long time ago like i'm thinking <laughs> like maybe april last year i reached out to her and um, she said she wasn't interested in the show. Not not in a bad way. She's very polite. You all know this. It's just my show, <laughs> my show style and its format at the time was a little bit... I think fast pace is what you kind of said. Something like that. A little bit much. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And which is totally fine. And then lady, way later on, out of nowhere, when... Um, oh, lurk away, Eliza. No problem. Enjoy uh, <laughs> your moon hunting in Odyssey. Yes, yes. Oh, Mario Odyssey. Yes, yes. Gather those moons. Oh, nice. <laughs> Anyway, so way, way later, months later, um, this relates to the Among Us collab. That's why I'm not, I'm not just going on a tangent here. I'm, I'm, I'm relating to what Mim talked about. <laughs> um, um, 
Mim got a pixelated um, little VTuber model of herself from This Name Exists. That's the name of the individual from Twitter. They made her yeah. one, and then they asked if there's any other VTubers she'd recommend so they can make more of those pixelated um, VTuber models. And I was one of the people she uh, she tagged in Twitter. It was just really, yeah. very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much <laughs> for that, because I love the model. And then... Yeah. This name exists. Made that, and for uh, and as well for Ellie, another wonderful VTuber. Um, Gumi got his separately from someone else, but it was pixelated nonetheless. Bottom line, what I'm getting here is that then Mim. It's been the same person. Oh, oh, okay. This the same exists. Oh, oh no, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. Sorry. Oh, okay. I, can't I remember. I, I just remember. Right. I remember Gumi making like a comment like, um, "The three of us came from this name exists," and uh, he just said like, "Oh," and I also happen to have my own pixelated guy. So. Mm, okay. Yeah. I could be misremembering. Bottom line, then Mim put together the big Among Us collab, asking for those who pixelated from This Name Exists. That's how I got involved. And then that's when we first voice chatted for the first time and had a great time. And that's why I figured, okay, you know what? Mim is really fun. I'm going to ask her again for the for the, for the collab <laughs> on the show. And, uh, you know, you, you can reach out via direct message and whatnot, DMs and whatnot, but you don't really get a feel for the person until you talk with them. And talk, at least I, I can speak for myself. And talking with Mim was an absolute delight. Collabing with her was a delight. So I had to try one more time to have her on the show. And it worked! It worked. <laughs> it's true. It's true because we had so much fun. I was like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll join your show. <laughs> we had too much fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the story, folks. That's how it happened. So, funny, really funny. What's the Jeep and Mim story? <laughs> yes, the Jeep and Mim story to getting Mim on the show. And we have a lot of segments for you folks. So, let's see here. Let's, um, you know what? You got through the wonderful questions. Oh, here's one. Okay, I'm sure you've talked about it. What's the story of that adorable black cat on your head? What's the story <laughs> of that? What's the story with that? That's my cat Angel, my 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 real life cat Angel. She comes to some of the streams. She likes to um she likes to sit right in front of my screen sometimes. So you'll hear her sometimes. Um, usually I'm moving her off so she doesn't like you know hit any buttons, stop the stream or anything. Yeah, <laughs> or like touch anything. She likes to be right on the like screen and like bad at the. She likes to play games too. So I have to put like games on the computer for her. Like and um, there's like games for cats like bugs and butterflies and stuff that she goes and fish oh my gosh the fish one she goes crazy for but anyway that's my cat angel and so she's my little buddy so she <laughs> so she hangs out with me on my head <laughs> hey, oh that's really cute okay i thought that was, i was like i was like I'm try, i was trying to remember for myself and even if i did remember that the cat's name was angel i want chat to know that so that is angel folks that's the that's the angel that's her angel. buddy and we heard the cat there Loves it when she streams. Is it just like when you stream that she always shows up, or is it just in general uh, when you're getting set up or anything? Or she's happy to just in streaming? general. Anytime you turn on the laptop or anything, like anytime I'm doing anything, or if I'm watching anime, she's got her head right there oh, watching wow. it with me. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. As soon as she sees the laptop, she's like, "Oh, it's time for me to go check and see what's going on." <laughs> yep. As instead of gaming she's with Mim, it's funny. buddy. It's buddy time with Mim. Buddy time with Mim. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's delightful. And folks, before we move on to the next segment, since it's still early enough in the show, Mim, tell us. Excite the chat what you have coming up, just in case they can't make it to the end. Promote yourself okay. here. Go All nuts. right. Well, we've got tons of stuff going on. There's a lot going on this, um, this month. One thing is um, I've got a new series of um, videos um, that I'm doing, um, Chicory. It's a really chill, fun stream. So, and like we like we mentioned, I, I post those videos on even days during the week, and I do premieres. So I chat um, while um, while we're watching it. So we can do live chat during that. So that's fun. I've got Legends Arce Arceus tomorrow. Um, and then next week we have a fun collab um, with Jeep and Cosmo, Ellie, and Red. We're gonna do Cake Bash, which will be a really fun game. I can't wait to play that. That's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fun and crazy. Um, so that's fun. And I picked that because three of us are all having anniversaries, all right around the same time. So it's I true. thought Cake Bash would be a fun game to do together. So. Um, so that's next Saturday, and then um, and then the big thing is um, my one year anniversary and my birthday stream, which is um, I'm, it's going to be on Saturday the twenty sixth. And there's a lot going on with that. So if you guys don't already know, um, there's a fan art 
contest going on. So you can submit fan art of me, and I'm going to do a random draw of three winners, and it'll be a $10 eShop gift card. I've got a new Pixel model that's going to debut, so that's exciting. Um, I've got a new starting scoot soon screen. I've got a new outfit. I've got kit, like my lure um, is going to go into a memoir. I've got a year in review, question and answers, and then of course we're going to do multiplayer games. And it's going to be chat's choice, so we're going to put up the games that I have <laughs> that are um, multiplayer games, and then you guys can um, choose from that. So chat gets to choose which games we play. Um, so that should be so much fun. I'm looking forward to it. Wow. So folks, it's a big, big month, big month. <laughs> big month for men, folks. Process that. Tomorrow's Arceus. She has that, um, what's that word you use? Chica... Chicory, chicory, chicory. It's chicory. really cute. It's like it's it's like this little painting game, but it's so chill and cute and fun. Anyway, you got to check it out. There's my paintbrush. There you go, there you go, folks. There you go. <laughs> That's chicory. my paintbrush there's I use in chicory. <laughs> there's a paintbrush for chicory. Also, like she said, she's got the cake bash stream coming up with yours truly, Jeep, Mim, Ellie, um, Red, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Cosmo. Cosmo. Mm -hmm. There we go. And uh, we're all going to be present for that one, the big cake bash, as well as like her her one year anniversary and her birthday stream coming up with lots of community uh, playing games. Lore going into that, which is happening on the 26th, you said, of February? Yep, 26. 26. Look forward to all those things, folks. Mark your calendars. She's has she has the game running. It's a very busy month for Mem. I hope you will tune in for that. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And with that chat, I hope you've got your, yes, it seems exciting indeed, Six, indeed. <laughs> and with that, folks, I hope you got your Pokemon game <laughs> brains a-going, because we're going to play a right. Pokemon game. That's what we're